all right i gotta raise this up because i gotta put an extension on the back of this uh koi uh so i can do her hand in this position and i'm gonna find something to get under the board here well i wonder if i've got another screw in there hmm or maybe yeah it was just stuck all right time to play with some clay All right, this is the pose that I'm going to be using, and uh, I'm going to replace the uh, clay arms with armatures. I'm going to cut this armature off because it's going to be useless. Oh, it's just in there. All right, I got the end heating up. The reason I do this is because it melts the clay as it goes in and then when the clay solidifies it locks in the uh i'm right, still trying to figure out i've got some pictures of mirrors and combs that they would have used uh on the great plains i'm not sure i might have to contact a friend of mine that knows and see what kind of mirror a Blackfoot woman would use. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'm going to put this other arm on and I'll be right back. To anchor this end of the arm that's behind her, I had to put a screw into the, to the board. And then I brought the uh, hand part of the uh, armature up against the screw and took some thin wire and wrapped it around to anchor it in place so it's not going to be moving on me. There are many times you have to uh, do a little jury rigging when you're working on armatures, and uh, that was a little bit of jury rigging that I've never done before. Well, I've done it with other things, but differently. It's just uh, sometimes you have to just do things that uh, are out of the ordinary. Okay, I'm going to start taking, changing the anatomy a little bit because with her sitting here like that with her arms like this, it changes the anatomy a lot. And I've got to uh, make those changes. I'm going to use this old potato smasher that I got from an antique store to uh, help shape a little more evenly form. All right, I'm just uh, getting ready to put the uh, shoulder on her. In case you're wondering, I've got my maquette anchored to the board with a uh, C-clamp because I'm not going to have that thing go flying off my board when I go twirling around with my <laughs> sculpting stand.
chest is still two barreled. I don't want her having a humpback. All right, I've uh, added breasts. Uh, they come down to about one and a half heads from the uh, bottom of the chin. I didn't put a lot of detail into it because it's going to be covered with uh, um, her clothing anyway, and uh, there's no need to get... Um, any more detail than that. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's a lot better to have this redone because I screwed it all up with the, uh, the clothing on the last one and I had to completely redo this for that reason. So I'll continue this next time, which will be tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how well this turns out. I don't know if I'll put the clothes on her tomorrow or what. I'm just uh, playing it by ear right now. I want to take a break only because when I do a major change like this, I like to take a day and just come back the next day and see if it still looks good to me. If it doesn't and something bothers me, I like to make the changes at that time. So... That's one reason why I take breaks. Um, I know there are younger people who are much better at this. Uh, very good artists that can do it probably in one sitting, but I, I like to take it slow. Because I'm building a story, and the story has got to formulate in my brain as I'm working. All right, everybody. Good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.